Merry Christmas with your families. Uh, just wanted to say how excited we are to be here. Thank you to the Cheese It Bowl. What, a, what an amazing bowl experience. The great weather here, you know, great city of Orlando. Lots going on. Such a great experience for our coaches, our players, and our families. And uh, we're, we're fired up to be here. All right. Good morning. My name is uh, Mickey Kahn. Again, just to echo uh, the same sentiment Wes had. We've had a great couple of days here and excited about the bowl coming up this weekend. So, really excited. So, thank you for having us. David Hood, TigerNet.com. I'm going to start with, with you. Brooke let something slip on a video about somebody named Johnny Carrots. <laughs> we had Jimmy Green Beans. Who, yeah. who is Johnny Carrots? We don't know who it is exactly. Uh, I mean, it's obviously some Twitter account. Yeah. But uh, no, they're, they're, they're doing a good job with, uh, with the humor side of, of all the changes that's going on. So, I mean, we, just, we think it's, it's entertaining. And, uh, but, yeah, so I don't know who you are, Johnny Carrots, but... <laughs> Do you guys have a, a nickname for for Wes or Mickey yet? Uh, no, I mean not, not nothing crazy, you know. Just uh, just good old Wes for right now. But I mean, <laughs> I mean he'll 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 uh, you know earn one, I guess, as time goes by. But I mean, there's definitely a lot of people with Johnny Carrots or all these other things. But it'll come naturally. So. <laughs> Matt Marshall, Orlando Sentinel. This is for um, Wes and Mickey. Transition into the into the new roles. How has it gone for you guys? And you know, getting ready for the bowl game. What you know, was there anything different you had to kind of do to manage your time? Well, I'll, I'll start it. Uh, no, it's been a great transition. You know, uh, a lot of guys, a lot of continuity. Still, we only lost two guys so far. To our three, counting uh, Ted, going. So uh, a lot of continuity in our staff. You know, know the process, know, know, know the roles, that sort of deal. So it's just been a great, you know, great opportunity for us to, to embrace the new roles and new challenges, and it's been great so far. We've been doing this together for a long time. And, you know, when you look at our staff, you, you know, we, we lost Coach V, and, you know, that's a big piece to lose. But, but Wes has been right there with him the whole time, his right-hand man, I mean, drawing up every play that, that we've ever put in and just uh, and throwing ideas uh, galore. I mean, he's, this guy's got, got a million ideas. And then, I, you know, I'm continuing to coach the safeties, Coach Reed, the corners. You know, Coach Bates the D-line and Coach Ski the D-end. So, uh, you know, and our support staff is all there. So we work really, really well together and uh, should, be, should be good. Uh, James, uh, this is John Blau with the Post and Courier. Just in terms of like, the bowl games you guys have played in over the years, you know, obviously being in CFP games, the cheese at bowl, there's no opt-outs. Nobody's, you know, kind of decided not to play in this game. Uh, why do you think there has been that level of dedication from this group going into this game, considering the, you know, the other games you played in through the years? I think it's just it's the culture of this team. I mean, you get to you get a chance. We get to play football. You know, it's yeah, we've been in the playoffs and these bigger stages, but to us, I mean, we get to go play a game again. We get a chance to go represent Clemson. Represent ourselves, or show everyone you know what we can do with our, our, ourselves, and so I just I think we all just love playing ball. We love being together. So I mean, it wasn't even opt out. Like what? That's not a thing. On behalf of the bowl, I appreciate the question and the answer on that one. <laughs> hey guys, this is Todd Shaughnessy from the Spartanburg Herald Journal. This is for both coaches. You guys have been doing this a long time, and it's, your jobs aren't really that new, but it's a new level of uh, spotlight and scrutiny. Are you guys? Feeling that to show something right away? Um, I, you know, I'm not trying to show anything different. You know, my deal is I just want our defense to go out there and play the way they've been playing. Uh, that's my goal. And that's what we've seen so far in practice, the, the level of intensity, the level of uh, leadership from guys like Skowski and Nolan Turner. Uh, I mean, those guys just bring it. They bring it every day, and I, I, I love it. And, and I know we're going to do a good job putting them in position to be successful. So really excited to, to watch them play. Yeah, Scott Docterman with The Athletic. I wanted to ask, uh, in particular, James and Wes, ab about Brock Purdy, Iowa State's quarterback, the challenges of, of what he brings to a game. And 
and how challenging, I guess, is the preparation for somebody who's been in the game for four years and, and doing it at a pretty high level? Yeah, definitely. It's a great challenge. Uh, my time at Arizona, you know, you always heard his name being a Phoenix area kid and uh, just a great, great player, very accurate, you know, does a lot of things well, big time, you know, plays well in the spotlight, gamer, savvy, you know, he's accurate. Can't say enough great things about him, so it's definitely a challenge for us, and uh, we got our work cut out for us for sure. Yeah, I think gamer's a good word to describe it, uh, and he he just makes things happen over and over again, and then creates you know something out of nothing. So, uh, you know, like Wes said, it's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge for us, and we're excited. Grace Rainer with the Athletic, James. We've heard a lot about. Wes's role behind the scenes all these years, but what can you tell us just about his football mind and what it's been like working with him in the capacity that you have? Yeah, I think you all just see the, you know, the big picture, you know, Coach V and then just everyone else, right? That's how that's painted. But, I mean, there's so many moving parts and, you know, Wes is, I mean, I've, how long has it been now? You know, years since I've been here, he's just been right there, uh, you know, chopping wood, just getting better and better and being literally as, Coach V's right hand man, so I just I mean, I have the most confidence in the world, you know, that things are gonna keep going the way they've been going. And I'm really excited for, for someone like Wes to get this opportunity and then, you know, kinda just show everyone, you know, the kind of coach he is and the kind of, you know, game he's go good call and just play aggressive Clemson defense. Uh, this is for uh, Coach Skowski. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just to piggyback on that, uh, what was the reaction within the team uh, when Venables left? Was there a little bit of uneasiness, or did you kind of know that there was a little bit of security coming? Uh, there was – uneasy is not a good word to describe it at all. I mean, every one of us I – mean, everyone understands what Coach V has brought to this program in the last 10 years, and he's – I mean, it's been great. But, I mean, everyone's ex super excited for him, super happy for him. That is his next step. That is – I mean, it was going to happen. And we're all very, just very happy for him. But uneasy? No. I mean, we were just all excited for the new pieces that are coming in. Now we get to build something a little different, a little new. And uh, I think all the young guys that are coming back are super excited. I know I'm excited to play one last game, led by these guys. And, uh, but no, not one ounce of uneasiness. Uh, Wes, I know you talked about you were happy, you know, when, when there was the buy-in from the players and nobody was, you know, going out the door, you know, once Coach Venables left. How have you seen this team approach kind of this bowl week? And, and, and do you feel like they have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder or want, want to kind of have one last great performance uh, this season, I guess? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, everyone's bought in. Been a great, great week of preparation, week and a half. Uh, great energy every day, great focus. You know, everybody's uh, came to work every day with the mindset, uh, the right mindset, right focus, and it, it's been real fun to see. Yeah, David Hood, TigerNet.com. I'll give all three of you a chance to, to answer here, but start with you, Wes. What were those first few days like for you at, at practice, and how long do you feel like it took you to maybe just kind of settle in and and get in the flow, and then for, for Mickey and, and James, what have you seen out of him at practice and handling this job so far? Yeah, I mean, it, it just getting back out on the grass was special in itself. You know, that, that's why we do this, to be on, on the field with our players and uh, to have the opportunity to get back out there. You know, my time at Clemson so far, other than a couple opportunities here and there, have been in a support role, but, you know, I, I've been out on the – the field many a times, you know, I, I got a lot of on the field experience. So it was like getting back in the saddle per se. So just pick right up and started rolling from there. Uh, yep, I'll take it. Yep. So as far as watching, as far as watching West coach, it was, 
it was no different. Wes is very humble, and he knows his lane, whatever lane that is he's supposed to be in. And when he was given the reins to take control, he's taking control. And he's, he's drawn up the plays. He's, he's controlled and signaled those plays. He's been very aggressive and, and very confident in coaching his players uh, and getting them ready and uh, hadn't backed down at all. So I saw a guy who's very confident and, and ready to go. And he's definitely been prepared for this moment. Yeah, I agree. I think the structure, you know, of like the, the method of how we get ready, I mean, that's not really changing. But, you know, how you're coached, of course, that's changing because we have a new coach. And, uh, but it's been, it's been nothing. It's been, it's been great. It's been, uh, it's been really cool to see him do it his own way. And it's been even cooler to see a, a linebacker room, just speaking up with my guys, completely buy in and, and want to play well and want to play hard and, and want to get it right for them. So, um, I just can't. I can't wait to play. I can't wait for for all of us to show and show up and and put on a show. So, gentlemen, thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you. Thank you.